if you're interested in becoming a member of the channel click the join button below my videos if you're an ios user click the link in the info box and you'll be able to sign up from there hey guys this is evie welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how i did these mesmerizing ocean nails so this look is inspired by viv shui I hope I'm saying that right but I really really love this design and I've been following her for a while one of my members Steve he sent this over and was like I would love for you to try this so I was just like you know what I'm gonna go for it <laughs> so for this look I'm using a long hair pretty nails clear and white acrylic along with this beautiful mermaid glitter and these items are available on my website links will be down below and then for the color I'll be going in with these colored acrylics from Mia Secret so I'm starting off with this gelish pH bond. I'm just going to apply this to my natural nails. And then I'm going in with the Harmony Pro Bond, which is a acid free primer. All right, so firstly, I'm just going to do the fill in part by just applying a thin layer of clear um, to all of my nails. Um, so as you see, I filed down my previous nail design, uh, which was the purple, I forgot what was the, the purple glitter and flowers. Um, so I was able to file down most of the ring fingernail, but I wasn't able to get all glitter off of the index finger. So um, I just went ahead and filed down as much as I could. And then I'm just going to build this nail back up with clear because it's just going to be a plain painted uh, gel polish nail. And the brush I'm using today is the number eight Oval Kalinske brush from Alpha. Um, my Long Care Pretty Nails Alpha brush is still out of stock and um, I will let you guys know when it is back in stock. But I will definitely leave the link down below to Alpha brush and also my coupon code. All right, so now I'm going to go in with some marbling. First, I'm taking that blue color from Mia Secret and I'm just taking a very wet bead and I'm um, just kind of randomly placing it, you know, on, on the nail. I went in with that green tea color, but it is a little bit darker than what I was wanting. So I switched back to the, um, I forgot what color this was, but I switched back to the brighter green color um, and that's what I'm gonna use to do all of the marbling. And I'm just kinda just doing it randomly, um, trying to leave space, not doing too much um, because of course we'll be going over this with the gel polish. And I'm just trying to get really close to the cuticle areas. Um, I have problems with doing this since I film. It's hard to see how close I am to my nails because I am sitting like a little further back. But I am going to have something to help me with that in the future and I will keep you guys updated on that. So I'm just going to repeat the same thing for the ring fingernail and the middle finger. Um, and as you can see with the marbling it's just pretty random. Um, still trying to keep like a swirly wave type shape to it. Not really thinking too much. This was all just, you know, just marbling. <laughs> but you want to make sure this is very thin. So work with wet beads and just kind of paint the colors on. So at times I was kind of double dipping between the blue and the green color. Um, and then I went in with the blue and the white acrylic um, to also give some different kind of swirls and stuff. All right, so after applying all of the color acrylic, I'm going in with small beads of clear and just applying a tiny bit of the mermaid glitter um, just to have a little bit of peekaboo shimmer because of course, most of this will be covered up, but it still peeks through and it's really, really cute. <laughs>
All right, so once all the glitter is in place and has dried some, I'm just gonna go in with the clear acrylic and go ahead and encapsulate all of these marble nails. For my middle finger, I wanted to get a little bit closer to, um, you know, around the cuticle area. So I just went in with some blue and kind of blended that out a little bit. Um, and then I'm just going and capping as I did the rest. All right, so this is after all of the acrylic is laid and dry. And now I'm going in with my shaping and filing. I'll be using these gel polishes. I have this blue color. Um, I will leave the names to all of these down below because I can't remember them, but <laughs> I have this jelly type blue color and then a white and then this turquoise color. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of my cheese top coat um, to kind of thin out this turquoise color because I kind of want that just to be, uh, you know, slightly transparent. So I'm just taking all of my nail art brushes and I'm just going to use whatever works, you know, for what I need. So after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed, and I start off with this deep blue color. And then that turquoise transparent color. Randomly kind of going back in with that blue color. And then I'm just going to stipple in the white gel polish. Everything is wet. I haven't cured any of the polish. I clean off my nail art brush and dip it in alcohol and I slightly um, tap it onto the white to kind of blend that in and just make it um, what the, what's the word I'm looking for? Like that very, very kind of dispersed kind of look. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just really doing this by sight, kind of going in, tapping in more color where I see I need it and, um, going from there. I kind of felt like I was Bob Ross, you know, just, <laughs> just kind of painting a mural on my nail. I basically repeat the same thing for each nail. Um, each nail is different because I didn't want to start like on the same side and stuff. So I started on the opposite side and, you know, kind of did the slant that way. Um, and as you can see here, I am taking that turquoise color all the way down the nail. I want this to look like under the sea, um, kind of like a, you know, ocean wave type stuff going on. So I wanted it, everything to be kind of bluish, greenish. I didn't want any like clear tips or anything, if that makes sense. Um, so as you can see, I'm going back in with that white and kind of just um, dapping it on there. And then with a clean brush, I'm just gonna stipple around just to uh, take out any of those harsh lines. This blended very, very well. So yeah, I do wanna mention that after every nail that I finish, I did went ahead and cure it because, you know, I'm clumsy. So yes, cure each nail after you're done.
Um, but yeah, pretty much I'm just going in, stippling in all the colors that I like. And then once I like um, the placement of the colors, I clean my brush off, tap a little bit of alcohol on it, and then I just kind of gently blend that onto the gel polish and that helps it blend and look very, very airy or watery, I guess. <laughs> This was so much fun to do. I really wanna try to do more gel polish nail designs because I'm starting to find out that there is so much more that you can do with gel polish than just, you know, polish a solid color. So I do wanna get more into gel polish and, you know, designs like this, cause this was really, really fun. All right, so after carrying that, I'm just gonna go in with the deep blue gel polish and I'm just going to paint this over my index fingernail. And I also painted my thumbnail this color as well. Um, even though the glitter is like not the color scheme that we have for this nail design, uh, with the blue gel polish over it, it kind of looks like it's underwater and it looks really, really good. So I think it went well with this. <laughs> So after curing that, I'm going in with the Poochie's Nails Super Shine Gel Top Coat. And we're just going to apply this to all of the nails. I know what you guys are thinking. I was debating with myself if I should put bling on here or not, but I was just so mesmerized by all of the marbling and the ocean-like waves and stuff. I was just like, I don't want to take away from that beauty. So I decided to just go ahead and leave these unblinged don't sue me <laughs> so after caring I apply my cuticle oil and this is the finished look I really really love how these came out this is so much different from the nail designs that I typically do and I really like it like it came out good I feel like I did a good job <laughs> so thank you so much to Steve for suggesting this nail design it was really really fun I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial head over to longhairprettynails.com and check out the shop thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and I will talk to you in my next one